Hello, I'm Angus Dalgleish. I'm a professor of oncology at the University of London based at St George's. And I'm here to tell you about some of the alternative treatments we have developed by the funding from the charity ICVI. For years, we've been aware of the importance of the immune system in cancer patients. And this has led us to try to do everything we can to optimize this. One of the most important things is the vitamin D3. It has been known for years to be very important for the management of infectious diseases like tuberculosis, but we are now finding this is exactly the same in patients with cancer, particularly with melanoma. In a very large national study, they were surprised, if not amazed, to see that the depth of the tumour, the number of lymph nodes involved, and the level of vitamin D3 just measured in the blood correlated with how well you did whatever excellent treatment that you had. And so therefore, we've been looking at our patients and find that 80% are low, 30% are very low. And so the first thing we do is correct the vitamin D3 level with supplements and bring that up to the normal level. And we then find the patients do so much better. They respond better to chemotherapy and immunotherapy. And this is probably all down to the fact that vitamin D3 is absolutely vital for killer T cells to seek out and kill tumour cells. So if it is low, however well you induce an immune response to a vaccine or an antigen, it is not going to work in the absence of vitamin D3. I would just like to point out that without the support of the charity ICVI, I would never have had the freedom to embrace so many different approaches to cancer and have the effect and benefit it in the clinical trials that we have had to date. And I must express my eternal gratitude for all the support that the ICVI has given me and my team.